Here is another polyp of the colon in which you can see here is the stalk of the polyp. Here is the connective and vascular tissue. Here are the glandular areas. And here is precisely the stalk. And it looks like the mucosal surfacing of this stalk also is like a fairly normal uniform colonic mucosa. We want to know whether this is a uh, adenomatous polyp or a hyperplastic polyp. Because it's an adenomatous polyp, we want to keep a closer eye on this patient, maybe do another colonoscopy in a few months or at least six months or a year, let's say. Or if it's hyperplastic, we could send them home and say, uh, thank you very much. So let's look at it under the microscope. Let's send it to the pathologist, and the pathologist cuts it, and he processes it, and he could see once again this nice stalk rimmed by normal mucosa and having normal vascular submucosa in the core of the stalk. Notice once again uh, that here is a nice uh, uniform strip of muscularis mucosae. Notice how the glands are chiefly mucinous. Notice how the nuclei right here are at the base and they're at the base over here too. Notice there's a nice uniform uh, uh, cell pop uh, uh, loose connective tissue in the lamina propria. But all of this stuff here, and all of this stuff here, and all of this stuff, the rest of it is your uh, adenoma or your polyp in question. So let's decide whether it's uh, tubular adenoma, i.e. adenomatous polyp, or whether it's a hyperplastic polyp. Well, right away, you could see that the uh, cells are darker. They're not uh, as mucinous or admixed with goblet cells as nicely as you see out here. Notice there's no serrations. And last but not least, we're going to really find a nice field which will convince you, whereas these nuclei are nicely at the uh, base of the cell, they are small, they are uniform. Take a look at the nuclei within the uh, polyp in question. They don't have a particular polar orientation towards the base. Notice they are not very uh, much uniform with respect to each other. Notice that uh, I wish we could go a little bit higher in power, but when you see areas like this, 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 maybe this. You know there's an increased mitotic rate as well. This is a adenomatous polyp. It is not a hyperplastic polyp. Thank you very much.